Welcome to Wiretrick Study Bar. It means ITSP Technologies. This is Vivek. So last session we covered. Last sessions, like last four sessions, I think. Uh, okay, you can check in this channel, ITSP, the playlist section. We have Core Java Zero to Hero series. Inside this, we uh, we covered. We take. I have taken five sessions up to this. It's completed. Java understanding. This is the last session. Okay. So you can go and check this okay, perfectly here or uh, here you can uh, send me a request then I will approve so get the notes class notes okay so now let's our content so what we have discussed last sessions the literals we completed arrays completed inside the literal subtopics are there integer integer means integral literal like float integral literal like uh, no not require integral literal integer byte sort like that and floating point literals we completed boolean literals we completed character literals we completed and a string also we got and some 1.7 enhancement with the literals which enhancement is this we completed if you want, you can go check these videos, okay, which I have shown you in the, in the starting of this session. So, arrays we completed introduction, why we use, where we used, and how to use array declaration. Three types of array we have single, two dimensional, three dimensional. Both the three three types of array we have di discussed in detail. Okay, in the last sessions, arrays construction, how to construct array, multidimensional array creation, array initialization, how to initialize the array, and how to initialize the array in a single line and construct length method, length method versus length variable. Okay, we discussed. Uh, okay, about the length, length is used for the arrays, length method is for the use for the string. You want to get the string length, then you can use string method. Now, next is anonymous array. We completed which array don't have name, array element assignment we have done, and array variable assignment we have done. Then we have done type of variable. Primitive variable is nothing but storing the primitive value, and reference variable is nothing but. Uh, represent a reference of object called we have three types of variable in the java other than that other than that nothing is there instance variable static variable local variable we have and we also discuss conclusion uninitialized array like uninitialized array so which value we take and when you not initialize that array like instance variable if you instance variable not initialized array then which value it will take and die by default then a static label and local label also and very important topic we discussed what is that where are methods single dimensional error versus where are method also both are same internally where are methods call internally Single dimensional array, like right? main method. Today's topic is main method. Very, very important at the uh, interview point of view, as well as as well as in the daily coding. You should you should know about that uh, main methods, how to execute this and how the flow is going. Now, next is command line argument. We will see. Today's session, we will complete the language fundamentals. Also, I will planning for the revision purpose, this language fundamentals. And tomorrow in the YouTube channel, I will take one session for the live session, if it is possible. Uh, in the live session, we will just revise all these topics in the fast mode. Okay. 
tomorrow on the monday uh, like not saturday we will take this session so today's session is we will complete it in slow motion java coding standards uh, the my planning is first we complete that uh, like topic then after this completion this topic one session i will uh, arrange i will take up one session for the revision is purpose to revise all these points there you can go and watch that okay and the live or like recorded video i will upload it so now next is after that java coding standards this type of standard you should follow while developing a java code okay so coding standard for the classes we have coding standards for the interface we have and also coding standard for methods we have and coding standards for variables coding standard for constants java ween coding standard also is there syntax for the setter method and syntax for the getter method coding standards for the listeners like to register a listener to un unregister a listener various memory areas present inside the gd this is also important part maybe interviewer will ask so just jump into that main method part jump to that jump into that i think this one here okay perfectly yeah let's see main method so perfect up to this is just we discuss this Just wait. Okay. Take a pen. Main method. Up to first week. Okay. So now, what is the main method? Let's see. Whether the class contain main method or not. Whether the class contain main method or not. And whatever whether it is properly declared or not okay these checking are not responsibilities of compiler this is not responsible for the compiler at runtime jvm is responsible who is the responsible for this jvm will check main method is there in the class or not if if JBM unable to find required main method, if then we will get exception like no such method error main, no such method error main, like we get this error. It's a version related, which just I'm saying to you. So what is that meaning? That the contain the main method contain class contain main method or not contain main method compiler is not responsible to check jbm is responsible for this to check main method is present or not if if any condition in the class main method is not present it will say no such method error right so here if you use this then you will get no such method error error main but in java 1.7 version error will error has changed error has changed error message has changed so we will discuss error message also Just believe I'm going to talk. I will show you when. Just I will. Uh, <laughs> let's start ID. Can learn parallelly. 
parallel learning is good. So, so main method is starting point of Java application. Main method is required for a starting point of yeah. Right. So now this is the some main method signature. In the main method, we have public static void method name is itself main and argument is string. Argument is string args. So let's start with public. What is why JBM Java people main method take as a public? This is the point to call by JBM from anywhere. That's why Java people take main method as a public. They want to call main method from anywhere. JVM, like JVM want Java virtual machine want to call main method from anywhere, right? What is the use of static? Static. Why Java people take main method as a static? So without existing object, also, JVM has to call this method. Like, don't want to create class object. Don't want to create class object. In the previous session, we have seen static variable you can call directly like that. So, without existing object, also JVM has to call this. This thing. Okay, now I think we can take a paint as different color. So, in color, we can take something like this. Like this is not good, right? So, in color, we take, take this one also. Okay. This is black and black itself. That is good. Green, I can take. Green is good. Okay. So now, then static is completed. Then come here void. So what is the meaning? Why Java people take main method is void? So the main method won't return anything to JVM. So JVM don't want JVM not don't want to uh, anything from main method so that's why java people take as a void so main method won't return anything to jvm why java people takes string args as an argument why they are not taking a simple string why? because they are wanting command line argument so what is that command line argument we will discuss in detail uh, next slide in detail in this session itself so suppose if you want to run your java application to so java c like test dot java right after that you can just test java test and pass the argument this is the string type so you can pass the string and why like that that's why you can pass any number of argument same type here then it will take that's why java people use the array to command line argument so you can say this is the command line argument you can send like this from that so now up to this is clear i think so let's start so next is if 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 we are performing any change change to the above syntax 
then the code won't run and it will get runtime exception saying no such method error like if you change the order what is that not other if you change public static void mean like a string a like that if you change if you change a string to public to uh, public to protected a static like a static to do a static and void and same as okay same as so then jb runtime exception say like runtime getting runtime exception what is that exception no such method so here even though the above syntax is very strict but following changes are acceptable to main method like swiping is acceptable like if you using void here or static here it's applicable public here even static here so like that you can use it so now the order of modifiers is not important modifiers are not that is instead of public static we can use a static public like that okay so you cannot change void void should be there after before the method void is if you change the void it will get an error So let's up to this, we can do the practical. Nexus, we open Nexus, change the workspace, which go Java fundamental. Okay. So number two, if declaring a string in any acceptable like in the array same this is nothing different this is simple array you can use this array is perfect working array is perfect working so nothing is required number third point is instead of arc we can use any valid java identifier you can use any valid java instead of arcs you can use a b c d whatever you want you can use it we can replace a string with very arc method yes we can like that like i think in the where arc methods i have i have shown you how to use it okay now main method now next is Main method can be declared with the following modifiers like final, synchronized, and strict if p. Main method. Main method can be declared with the following identifiers like final, synchronized, and strict if p. So test. Static final synchronized strict FP public void main. So arg method you can pass valid main. It's valid main. Let's up to this. If any doubt, comment in the comment section. So up to this, we can practical this. <clears throat> Perfect. So now come here. Go down. Create one class, class name is nothing. Main method test. Okay. okay. Just so now if you run this class, if you run this class, 
just click right click run as java application here you can say it is not there just run this class the selection did not contain any resource can be server okay here what is that method about main method is not there it is not applicable to run right perfect or not by using id we cannot just select go inside the show in i will show the explorer go inside the explorer and inside the testing src form itsp now here you can use cmd perfect Java C test main is main method main I think so main method dot test now here you can see is there any error no why because they remove that thing in up to version but it's only Java seven versions okay Java is compiled perfectly Java compiler will check now compiler will not check compile the code successfully then No, then mean dot class will now we will get error. Yes, what is that? Java no class def found error. Mean method. Now they change that message. Def found error. They put it okay. Def found error, they put it. So now it's up to this, it's completed. So just I need to change some. Put it to main method here. Public static white main string marks layouts. Okay. Yeah, SOP. Now to control chat. Is this out? Here you can just enter main method. Main. Compile again. You getting any compile time error? No. Run this. Now yes, you can no such method. Why is not such method? Public static void main box is there. Not run here. Run a Java application. Now you can get main method. That's not coming in. Compile CLS Java C main main test dot class name dot Java. Run it Java main. I think it. Why? I think we should delete that dot class file. It is overriding somewhere else. So delete dot class file. Again, compile it. You see, perfect. Run this. Okay, dot yes. Just leave it. Of this, you can see that. Method. Now main method is working perfectly. Now if you change the order, like first we change here, first we change here. First we change public. If you call this right no main method not found in class this please define the main method as public static void main right let's give the public now remove that static run this then you will get main method is not static in class right 
डिक्लेयर स्टैटिक टिक रन ओके रन मेन मेथड इज टू रिमूव द वॉइड व्हाट इज दैट प्रोसीड नाउ हियर द सीक्वेंस इज टू बी फाउंड मेन मेथड प्लीज डिफाइन द मेन मेथड एज अ पब्लिक स्टैटिक वॉइड मेन इट विल गिव दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्सेप्शन सो नाउ वॉइड Now change that order. Now here you can put it public, public. Change the mat. Change main method order is changed. Okay, save it and run. Here order is changed. Order is changed. It means this point is valid. we can change the order where is there any yeah public static we can do that or we can do like this point is also here you can use any it's the same like array concept nothing else same array concept so we can give instead of arcs we can use any valid identifier yes we can use any valid identifier like my name is also i can take yeah you can see changed main method argument main method argument so now it's perfectly now use error method also here yeah. so if you dot 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 is working we think it's working we think it is working last session s yes. it's working for fact here also it's working but if you take one more like here if you take like this it not taking before that hari bhali very our method also you can now up to this that clear guys the next is fifth point main method can declare the final synchronized and stacked fps final synchronized and stacked fp stacked fp also change this final stacked main method as main method as final stacked and run this Now here we will get. So this combination is allowed. Come oh, yes. here. Next PPT come down. Which is valid or invalid? Let's see. First point is public static void main string. Here is missing is. Dimension is missing array, so it's invalid. Public synchronized final stricted p void main. It's invalid. Where is our static? That's why it's invalid. Public static void main. It's invalid because capital is m. Okay. So here you can see public static int. It is also invalid. Okay. It should be. Int return type we can't take, we can't take it. Public static synchronized final strict fp void main it's valid. This combination is valid. Public static void main, public static void main args we can take it's valid. Public static void, public static it's valid because because this is public void main only. Okay. Now in Java, in which of the above case we will get compile time error? 
in which case we will get compile time error. So case number one, overriding of main method is possible, but JVM always call string argument method only, main method only. So JVM is calling only main method argument with that array. If you other than that, that array string also other than that it won't call like suppose if you use this it won't call let's see this example in the ide so this combination is valid this combination so clarity purpose this is the recommended way used like this public static void main int of, of i like that sys out take main method with int or view view means right let's see what is that which method call which method call at the point we discuss only jvm call main method which is argument uh, is string array string array other than that it won't call the string array string so just run this you can see only one output like this right if it is a string then getting an error now because method name is already this this is nothing but method over loading this is method overloading we have seen if a method name is same but overloading is method name is same but argument are different then you can say method overload right case number two hmm. the other overloaded the other overloaded method we have to call explicitly explicitly then only it will execute it then only it will Execute it explicitly. You can call that method, then it will execute it. In a returns concept is applicable for static methods, including main method. Static method including main method. Hence, while executing child class, if the child class doesn't contain main method. Main method, then the parent class main method will be executed. Parent class main method will be executed. Let's see this example. We have two classes, parent and child. Okay. Now we have this is the parent of like create one class child. child class classes child extend extends main 
method main method main class right now we have a class we have a main method or not we don't have so just run this and call this suppose if we have public static void main string ox and ox here this out right child class class main main method right just run this let's see main method as final sync is called this one what is the flow first super class will called then you will get chance to call this method okay main method is executed inside the main method if you want to call that then you can call I think some examples are things so missing. Right, this is the example here we have a parent class we have parent class and public static wide main class main method this is the parent main method we have then child class extend the parent then parent main method we have like this okay and java dot c compile the parent class java c okay and java c then it will create one dot class file and child dot class file but which is calling child parent java parent parent main java child parent main right same thing is it seems to overriding concept is applicable for a static method but not is overriding its method id it is not method id it is the method overriding it is method over hiding hide the method a child class method is hiding that's why parent class give the chance to execute so now 1.7 version enhancement with respect to main method some utilization like right now we have some no depth found okay this is 1.7 version onwards. I have mentioned that yeah, Java Java fundamental before the 1.8 version is there. Okay. But is Java fundamental is the fundamental parts. Features part is features part. Like 1.8 features also I will take the class. Don't worry. So until 1.6 no such method error is there. But 1.7 onwards, no such method error will get more meaningful description. What is the description? Like this. If you exit, it will get this in the 7 version. 1.6 and 1.7 onwards, you will get this message. Like this, we get an error. Like this, we get like define this main method and give the syntax of main method. Case two. Okay. Case two. From one point seven version onwards, 
to start program to start program execution compulsory main method should be required hence even though the class contains static block if main not available then won't be executed what is that point hence even though the class contain a static block if main is not available then won't be executed java 7 java 1.7 version before the 7 if a static block is there then the java execution java files java executed java class is executed before the 1.7 version but 1.7 onwards 1.7 onwards if a static block is existed if main method is not there it will giving error okay let's see this is the example to see So now Java 1.7 version onwards if a static block is there. Like static. This class is just commented. So static. A static block is also there in the block port. I will discuss with the yes out. Static block if main method is not there let's see main method is there or not, not there let's try to run java fx provide the main method required this is the before the this is the latest version i think so java 21 version is i am using but java 1.7 before the like if you are using same example in java 1.7 Six version, then it execute perfectly. But in seven onwards is wrong. Let's see. First, we'll get a static block chance. After that, your main method, right? So this is here. It's saying case two is completed, guys. I think you understood. Case three is like suppose we have test class and exit method we have Java C given version Java C test the static block will execute it okay. and exit that program before the uh, termination. But Java seven it will. It will give an error. Okay. So next case four. We have test class with the static block and with the main method. I have given two examples. First, it will get the chance to execute static block than main method. Same thing is going on in Java seven. This is also an option. So now Java 7 version, Java 1.7 onwards, what happened with the main method? Execute static block if it is available. Java 7. If no, no such method error. Okay. Check whether the main method available or not in 7. Yes. If it yes, then it's true. Then it's execute main method. Check whether main method are available or not. It doesn't matter. If not available, if not available, then execute main method. No, no such method error. But Java 7 
जवान 1.7 ऑनवर्ड्स चेक मेन मेथड अवेलेबल और नॉट इफ यस देन एग्जीक्यूट स्टैटिक ब्लॉक स्टैटिक ब्लॉक इट इज अवेलेबल इफ नो राइज एन एरर देन यू कैन गेट चांस टू एग्जीक्यूट मेन मेथड दिस इज द फ्लो डायग्राम इट इज एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क in the comment section i will reply on that comment if you want any new topic to learn just comment in the comment section i will prepare a one separate session for that now here some command line argument example i want to show you so this example using we can use by using uh, like idea also we can do the same example we can okay here this example up so you know so the argument which are passing from command prompt are called command line argument passing that command from where command line so this means it is the command line argument the main objective of command line argument are we can customize the behavior of main method customize that behavior of main method so now this is our class this is main method argument this is we taking one for loop for loop start with the zero and arcs dot size What is the size we passing here? We pass three. So then arcs dot size length is three. So it will execute three time. Then arcs to zero zero position but ten. Then we increase one twenty. Then like this. That it will print x y z. If you hitting x y z. Okay. Now array index of bound exception three. Would be fast like two. No, that's why it's giving exception. You start with zero. You start with one. It it won't give in the exception. Okay. Here, you start with one. Otherwise, you can just remove this double equal sign. So now just. Run one class. What is it? Class command line. Line. Ah, you can. Main method. You can just click on main slash control. Yes. Take one four in i. Start with zero. Start with zero. Comma, arc dot length is there greater than equals to sorry not this here not i i greater than less than equals to arc and comma sorry comma semicolon and i then i want to this out this out e of i ox of i a ox of i perfect now let's see what is that output of this example if you want to say just open one command line also here otherwise you can go Here, just compile this Java C command line. Compile successfully Java command dot Java passing like x comma you can pass like x comma y comma z. Are you now? No, class they found error. Like online, some some mishappening is 
happened with this example so you can use open so terminal yeah. here we will type this java c command line dot java then perfect java command line dot class pass the f comma a comma v comma c let's see it's not taking java below our cmd java c hyphen version check i think it's there the twenty one is there maybe it is not taking in the latest version command line okay so now this is the use of command line don't worry it's there the next use is If you pass like this also, you can pass. Take one uh -huh. here. Take one string array of equals to a comma b comma c like that if we take it now i want to assign here we are assigning ox to ox right ox equals to ox right then you can print that within for loop a string yes colon of ox This out prints the yes. See, let's save it. Run that application. Here, ABC. ABC print. And this is the command also we are using like that. Initial, initialize that uh, our value to the command argument. Okay. Now next is Within the main method, command line argument is available in the form of a string. Command line is in the within two string. If one plus is there, then it is not of acting as a arithmetic operation. It is acting as a concatenation. Concatenation. Also acting as a concatenation. What is that here output? If you pass any uh, command line argument, okay, like test, you can pass that. You will get this output. So space is separated between two commands line argument. If command line argument itself contain the space, then it should be enclosed within several codes. Now, this is very important, Java coding standards. So, Java coding standards we follow. First standard is, whenever we are writing Java code, it is highly recommended to follow coding standards. Whenever we are uh, writing Java code, it's highly recommended to follow the Java standards, which are improve the readability, which is improve the readability and understandability of the code if you giving a uh, class name is the related to your project related to your task and readability is automatically understand then other developer also can understand 
okay if we are giving any name and then randomly it is not good practice for the java developer now second point is first is complete second point is whenever we are trying any component we are are writing any component that is class or method or variable the name of component should be reflected the purpose of the functionality the name should be reflected as the purpose of the functionality like this is the example we have like class a public int method one int x int y return x plus y I mean by the standards like normal standard we have in the java calc is the calculator we are developing okay this one is thing right perfect Here. Coding is standard for the class. First point is coding. Usually class names are anonymous. What is that? Class name are anonymous. Should start with uppercase letter. What is that? Class name should be start with uppercase like T. If contain multiple words, every inner word should be start with uppercase. If you like test controller, then controller is also start with capital. This is the meaning of to start with uppercase. If if contains multiple words, this is the test container with multiple words, then it will second word. This can start with the Capital letter like this string customer object student string builder string and builder nouns the coding is standard for the interface class ke liye do cheeze. first is start with the capital letter if any word the multiple words is there then second word is also start with the capital letter usually interface name are objectives Objective. What is that? Objectives, not nouns. Uh, should start with uppercase letter and if contains multiple words, every inner words start with uppercase letter. Same standard you can follow as class. Like serializable, runnable, colon, cloneable. These are objectives. Coding standards for methods. Okay. Coding standards for method. What is that standards? Okay. Usually method name are either verbs or verb noun combination, right? And should start with lower case lower case and if it is contain multiple words if it contain multiple words then inner words should start with start with upper case later camel case conversation example run is the symbol nothing is the symbol. sleep eat drink this is the verb then get a name and get salary this is the nouns and verb plus nouns these are verb plus nouns. So coding standards for the variables, same as the method name. And usually variable name are nouns. Okay, nouns. Should start with lower case alphabets. Should start with lower case alphabet symbol. And if contain multiple words, Inner words should start with uppercase. Correct. Camel case. Same as the method. Like that. Length. 
name salary name age and mobile number if like this coding standards for constants this is the important guys constant is the important variable everyone knows constant to know everything is kept a letter i think usually contains are nouns contains only upper case characters if you declare any constant then upper case and if it contains the multiple words then words can separated underscore what is that underscore usually we can declare constant using public static final modifiers public static final modifiers like max value min value nor probability java bean 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 class bean class bean now a java bean is a symbol java java with private properties like we class one test like well no employee employee class is there like private that property start with private like employee name employee name employee age employee address employee salary many more things so here is the student when we declared okay so start with what is it private the class name ends with the veins is not is official conversation from sun microsystem this is not would be so do do like that a student also you can take now this is a set test method get test method syntax for set test method set test method set test method what is that method name should be prefix with set it be written it be should be a public modifiers access modifiers then data type should be a void compulsory it should take in a sum argument set type syntax is for the get type should be prefix with get prefix with first then you can use it should be a public return type should not be void it always argument for boolean properties getter method can be prefix with a either get or is but recommended is use is for the boolean property well now private boolean empty and boolean get a body private boolean is empty is empty this is the boolean and is get empty is not recommended but it's valid what this is the recommended way to use like this to so coding standard for literals so public void add my action listeners listener my action listener i add so method name should be prefix with add and register my action listener add my action listeners listeners add the unregistered listeners the method name should be prefixed with remove what is that unregistered method remove unregistered remove delete like that so this is the important part guys come down this is picture is very very clear so in method area we have in jvm five type of memory 1 2 3 4 five native method stack area pc register here is the run stack where we store local variables right we in the local section we have in the Uh, heap area we store in instance variable but method area be static block static variable and reference variable these four these four things is stored inside the method area and heap area is only store instance variable 
and inside the run stacks like stack memory heap memory we store the method calls maybe interviewer will ask in jvm memory presentation inside the memory presentation you can say five type of memory is there first is the first one is the method area heap area stack memory and pc register and the native method area and what is the use of heap memory heap memory is store the instance variable okay what is the use of uh, method area to store like to store uh, to store a static block a static variable reference variable right what is the use of stack to store the local variables method calls local variables method calls are local variables so now so class level binary data including static variable will be stored in method area so this is some conclusion point about main method first point is class level binary data including static variables will be stored in method area what is that class label static variables be stored in method area objective object and corresponding instance variable will be stored in heap area and for every method jbm will create a runtime stack all method calls and performed by that thread corresponding local variable also will be stored inside that stack is there any specific reason JBM will create runtime stack. All methods call perform that. The instruction which has to execute next, we will store the corresponding PC. The instruction which has to execute next will be stored in the corresponding PC registers. What is the instruction we should execute? Native method invocation will be stored the native instance. So now here come. So now method area, you know that method area is storing that static block, static variables, static reference, right? What is that? Static binary data including static variable will be stored inside the method area. Method area, right? And heap area. Object and corresponding instance variable. Object and corresponding instance variable is stored inside the. Here is the method calls and local variable and PCV registers. PCV registers to corresponding PC. Okay. So thank you. So we completed language wedge fundamental and I will announce the second chapter of this series zero to hero poor Java and once I am just planning one session I am planning I am I am planning one revision revision session for all all only language fundamentals for I am just saying what is that my plan plan is first we complete one topic then we plan a long session long session like revision then after that we start a new topic like we language fundamental is completed so this is less practical here because theoretical part is there so i have explained all this point all the aspects then uh, today I will, when we will get this video links, 
so there you can i will attach this notes okay i will attach this note in this group there you can find it okay this all i will make it as pdf and after that i will upload this once i am planning for the github sessions once github session is completed then all the course i will upload i will upload on uh, github so up to it thank you please share this channel this is our very good channel itsp okay so more content also i am planning more sessions microservices aws okay so more tools so thank you thank you for be with me and signing signing off guys thanks